Sometimes when I get really stressed out, I'll get sick. And so right now I'm running a fever. I thought it came back down. It was 102 last night. Now it's gone back down. But I wrote a poetic narrative um, just about, you know, not all the people that throw slogans at me or, or you know, wear the shrug are bad um, or necessarily saying, well, I'll just read it. <laughs> I think it explains itself. I burnt my wrist today. The words of friends who taunted, who said they knew who I was better than I did, stopped. They try to save me from a me that isn't me. They forgive me for my trespasses and sins that I never committed. They feel superior in this decision. I push a cigarette into my skin, that old familiar feeling, that sharp ting and then the calm. They knew. They continued on. This time in coordination. Their blessings more of a reflection of their own world than mine. Their forgiveness wrapped up in games that they play. All the words they hurl, slogan after slogan, taunting me on the daily for years. I looked the other way, turned the other cheek and forgave. They tell me it's not them but me who's wrong. They don't know me or my life, not really. We never party together. They don't know who I was before I was famous. The purity intrinsic to my personage, no. What they know are rumors they uphold or cheer on. They watched me push the cigarette into my skin. They weren't there to smell it as it burned. They don't know what it feels like to need it all to stop. They have not been blessed with a life as difficult as mine. They coordinate their speech. They mean well, but also, no. They mean to see the things the way that they prefer to, to offer advice where it wasn't asked, to quantify me as not good enough over and over again. They aren't talking to me. They're talking to their own self-image, do-gooders, who watch you burn and then dish out the same lines as a response. God bless.